Hi guys, it's Mike and today I'm back with Everyday Christmas card series number 25 and I made three cards in um, this video, not three different versions and well you can see them all here and I, I, I called it the super thick layer experiment because I'm not sure it worked. At first I want to make a stencil, I don't have one that's rectangular and also I don't have the right die because I I, I wanted it to be more the shape of um, our card base and the die that I have is more long and narrow it, it didn't work so what I'm doing I'm stacking four pieces of uh, well I think it's 80 pound card it's a bit thicker than normal printer paper and uh, then I'm cutting it out to cut it out I'm using my craft knife um, but uh, yeah if you have a die that is the right size then please feel free to use that one because <laughs> it will make your life a little bit easier on hindsight I think I could have spread the layer of glitter stuff on top without having a mask and I'm gonna try that and by the time this video goes live, I will have a few more. I also did a two day video. I started yesterday afternoon. I think it was about two o'clock. I'm not really sure. I let it dry all night and it's now again 12 o'clock when I started to do the rest of the card. And I don't think it was dry yet. So <laughs> allow yourself some time. I've pulled out lots of glitter. Uh, two branded ones, that's a distress glitter and the rest is just, you know, dollar store stuff and uh, well, glitter I had for many years and I'm packaging just to kind of um, mix it together I have nice stars and I have, you know, chunky stone glitter like things that's for nail art actually, I, I wouldn't like to put that on my nails, but yeah um, I'm gonna go and mix quite a lot with usually when you use the texture blaze I couldn't get it over <laughs> then you always get too much out and now you need quite a lot because it's a big area and uh, <laughs> well you want to have enough don't you it's this is a texture paste from Ranger it's transparent gloss and I'm just sprinkling in all kinds of uh, pink lilac-y stuff. This is from Reaper and it came with that label loose like that. It kind of annoys me. <laughs> and also some glitter just for an extra dimension. And then yes, yeah, you, you just mix it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? I never done this before and so I called it experiment because I wasn't even sure if it's gonna work. And I'm taping down my stencil <laughs> quote unquote and it's lifting up a little bit at the edges and so I'm sticking tape all around it and for this one I'm working on the card base but for the others I just use a panel okay <laughs> so if you uh, can't spread it straight or flat enough um, use a ruler um, to go over the top from side to side and then wash it immediately of course and um, to my surprise my glitter started discoloring the embossing paste or the texture paste as uh, it's called and it's now pink <laughs> I don't know which confetti did that but um, easy. We'll see tomorrow how it dries up. Uh, it was still pink. Uh, I'll just spoil it now for you. So for the second one, I'm gonna put more texture paste in a little cup. And um, this is gold stars. And I have to say these are really old. And I dropped them once, and I scooped them up from the floor. And they. Um, might contain some hairs <laughs> cat hair <laughs> i am sorry i i just didn't see them until i started mixing them 
And I thought to add more of a Christmassy feel, I also add some red and some green stars. But you can do anything. I mean, whatever you have. Also sequins, of course. But I wanted to use a bit of my glitter there. I have enough for the rest of my life. So you need quite a lot of chunky glitter. I think it, it needs to look quite dry as a paste. And that way with the different color, with the different sizes you get you see this is the earth. <laughs> but with all the layers you get this kind of feel of dimension, of depth and the sizes and the colors reinforce that feeling. So. And um, yeah, my uh, stencil is of course made of cardstock so it won't last forever but I made it fine for the free cards that I'm making. And as I said, I'm going to try it without the stencil because in the end I um, ended up cutting it. And also I tried die cutting a shape out of it. <laughs> and uh, well, it's either too thick, I couldn't almost not get it through my machine or it wasn't dry enough yet. And also I think that kind of metally glitter that's in there kind of messed with the die as well. And I used the precision plate as well so you know <laughs> I, I never done this before so that's why experiment and i think it worked i mean if you have time probably should have let it dry maybe longer but i still like it it's so gloriously shimmery and glittery and fun so i'm cleaning off my spatulas here just because um of the color combos that i'm using i don't want red with my purple or green with my uh, golden if I don't want it so I'm gonna go for all blue now and I'm using the distress peacock feathers glitter and I have to say I like it more with the chunky glitter but that's personal I mean you can use whatever and here I started picking out some of the blue ones and then I paused it because <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a lot and some gold ones. Just a bit of a randomness there. So see there's still some confetti stuck to the side and the wrong color so I'm scooping them to the side. And I, th I think it's fun to you know try and experiment with stuff that you've never done before. And sometimes it works and sometimes you think, me, eh, maybe next time I'll do it differently. See? Chunky glitter is quite hard to get straight, but if you use a ruler to go over it, you might get it. But I'm not really bothered if it's a bit bumpy. I mean, that's the nature of the glitter. So about 20 hours later, this is how they look. And I'm not convinced they dry yet, so <laughs> they are see-through now, which you know is kind of an indication it should be ready. But um, yeah, here you can see the texture paste that has gone pink, and uh, the gold is really nice with a bit of uh, red and green in there. And of course, you can use any. I pulled out a few dyes, um, but I think you need quite chunky dyes to compete with all the. Well, uh, noise going on in the background and I tried this one the Merry Christmas I got it from a D-stash side and I think I know why because it cuts like well <laughs> I don't want to say but really badly so I tried it three times with and without stick it and well, I gave up on that <laughs> I think it will go in the bin then um, I used pulled out this from Sizzix and I also got this from this side so I don't know how old they are but again um, my videos are not about the stuff that I use they're more about the idea and the round one is from MFT and here you can see it still didn't cut through with a precision blade with an extra shim of card and well <laughs> it's too dainty anyway I mean I tried the MFT circle one I love it but that's too dainty as well. Maybe if you lay with it four times, still, you can't really read the letters because they are so detailed. And I was already pulling this off. I should have looked first how it looked. <laughs> yeah, it's 
Sometimes I trust my own judgment too much. See, you can see the black rim very well, but the letters are really hard. And um, I didn't like it. So <laughs> instead I um, went for these from Sizzix. And you can use either the positive and or like I did the negative bit. So that will show the glitter through the die cut. But it will also still show enough. See this is the number. So that's uh, Sizzix 660057. And I don't know if it's still available. But um, as I said, anything that you have. if I really like that brushed one that I use from some system. Painted, thank you, I think it's called a painted hello. But I don't have it as a Christmas one. I don't know if it exists even. But <laughs> yeah, just use whatever you have. Something chunky, I would advise. And um, here I was trying to die cut into the embossing paste to make the nice and straight edges. And well, it was too thick. I already used 140 pounds paper to take all the moisture. And here you can see I tried to make it as straight as possible and then, then I got a <laughs> little bit. I'm not sure what that confetti will do to my scissors but well, we'll see. <laughs> if it's blunt now. So I left the die cut on the strip a little bit longer so I can wrap it around and then just use some scotch tape to uh, adhere it. And then put some glue dots underneath. It wasn't coming out of my bottle though. <laughs> I probably shouldn't show you these things, should I? So here's a close up of the gold one. It's probably my favorite. This is very classical, you know, a bit of red and a bit of green in there. And I tried die cutting a star out of it and then yeah, it left an indent but didn't go through. And I think it's because it's still wet so I, I will try it ag again um, I can't do it on the video I will try it in the meantime <laughs> and uh, I'll come back to you in my blog post and uh, you can go and look down below so I decided to make all panels out of it just because of the sentiment and I can wrap it around without having the bits on the inside of the card And then I thought, well, if I cut the panel down, I could just spread it on the panel. On the probably should have die cut the star first, and then just spread it on there. I wonder if I can get a really thick layer, which is what I'm gonna try. In the meantime, <laughs> so trying to get it straight, and then stuck it, in, oh, stucking it down, <laughs> sticking it down, and it wasn't straight. No, moved it a little bit. I mean, I'm not sure the whole panel is straight anymore, but <laughs> I went with it. And um, I just used uh, the red stick tape, which is extra strong tape, instead of foam tape. Because I felt it was quite heavy as a card. And maybe that's also because it's still wet. But <laughs> anyway, I like to experiment it and I um, will do some more experimenting so uh, go down uh, to my blog the link is uh, down below and you will see some more results of my well i would say mad lab experiment <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you again soon bye